Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to test out the Bosch uh, brushless hammer drill and impact driver kit that comes with uh, two 6.3 amp hour batteries, a bag, a charger, hammer drill handle, and an actual uh, measuring rod for the hammer drill. Now, not many companies actually uh, have this in the kit. So it's actually nice to actually get a rod for the hammer drill so you know when to actually stop. So the Bosch Impact Driver, this model, uh, this has a, a half inch anvil on there with a quarter inch hex slot on the inside. To which that's actually pretty bizarre because of an actual impact driver that comes with a half inch anvil. And so, yeah, we're going to check these out, see what these can do. And so let's uh, look at the mount numbers and specs really quick. So the Bosch Hammer Drill has a 25-point uh, clutch. It has three settings on the top, drill, screw, and hammer. And so it has two speed settings. It is a brushless motor, EC brushless motor. And so a lithium-ion battery, 18-volt system. But what's interesting is, is that Bosch's 6.3 amp-hour batteries are small. This is seriously the size of like a, a 4 amp hour battery, but this is a 6.3, 130 watt hours, 113 watt hours. Uh, the model number for the battery is GB18V63. And so yeah, there is a fuel gauge on it, it is on the back. This one has uh, five, uh, four bars, Ooh, this is actually not a full battery, we're going to have to put that on charge. So the model number for the... Just like uh, Hilti, the model number and specs are on the bottom. The model number is HTH183, a half inch uh, metal chuck. It has two speed settings. The first speed is 0 to 4800, and speed two is 0 to 2100. So I do not, it does not say what the torque is. I'll put the torque in right now. Uh, but it is a half inch metal chuck. Uh, the chuck seems, uh, it's half decent, half decent metal. You know, it, uh, it, it, it seems beefy, but it doesn't seem as hard of a metal as the, like the DeWalt and Milwaukee have. It does come with a handle, which this is an interesting handle. The actual wraparound is very thin. So just like all of them, you just slide it on like so, and then you twist it uh, till it's tight. And there you go. And now it's on there pretty good. And so the, there you have it. So the the fiberglass reinforced uh, handle actually feels pretty thin. It is not heavy duty by any means. The handle itself actually does feel pretty hefty. But the, uh, the rest of the shaft does not. And just the design of this, you are, the only thing my concern is that you will be scratching off the the clutch numbers when you put this on and off. I don't like that because if you, in time, if you wear out the, the clutch numbers, you'll have to guess where it's at. And so yeah, that is the, uh, that's the hammer drill. So let's actually put this to the test and then we'll move on to the, we'll move on to the impact driver. There is a little wind up. Very good. Let's test this out. All right, and so the, the charger is model number uh, BC1880. 20 uh, VAC to 60 hertz at 190 watts. That's not bad, it's a, it's a basic charger. It's not a fast one. It uh, does have a cooling down feature on it. All right, so the hammer drill has a single light, uh, LED light on the base. It does come with a metal belt clip. No other accessories. We're going to have that on drill. We are only testing wood today. We're going to test uh, concrete later on. So yeah, we will be using the uh, Bosch Daredevil self-driving uh, spade bits. We are going to start off with a uh, one inch. Make sure this is nice and tight. And remember when you uh, work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. So ready, go. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. Let's do one more. And unfortunately, I only have the 6 amp hour, 6.3 amp hour battery. We, I cannot use anymore. All right, so ready, go. All right, I think I'm going a little bit too close. It's all right. So we got a brand new DeWalt three and a quarter inch drill bit. Let's see how this goes. All right, so ready, go. Ooh. Looks like it's having trouble. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so we got the handle on. We are gonna start off with the one and three eighths. We are gonna do two holes, one on speed one and one on speed two. All right, so ready, go. That is that. Switch over to speed two. Battery is at four bars. Ready, go. It did it. It was able to do it. It is what well, it was able to do it. All right, so let's switch over to the one and a half. All right, so ready, go. Time. Now let's take it out slowly. All right, now let's go over to speed two. All right, so we are clear. Yes, we are. Ready, go. Oh. Uh-oh, it cut off. With a red light, it cut off, and a red light flashed on there, so I think uh, speed two. That doesn't smell right. The hottest point on this so far is 90, 98 degrees. So it's getting hot pretty quick. So now we're going to test out the impact driver. Look at the specs really quick. This Bosch is actually pretty interesting because this has a half inch anvil with a quarter inch hex in the middle. See, as you can see, and there you go. So th this is actually, a, I, I find this very interesting that it has a half inch anvil with a quarter inch hex inside. Now I do not know if that extra space uh, not being taken up by metal makes this anvil weaker when it comes to long term, but it's, a, it, it's an interesting feature to have. So now you could just use a regular uh, drill bit on there. But the model number for this is IDH182, uh, 18 volt system, variables. Nope, there is uh, three speed settings. Three speed settings. Let's figure out how to. There we go, that's speed one, speed two, and speed three. That's weird. Uh, very good. Now the th uh, speed settings also work in reverse. That's reverse, forward. So yeah, that's it. That's an interesting feature. Now it is a little hard to adjust the speed set, uh, the speed settings, because it doesn't work every time you hit the button. It it sort of works works when it wants to. 
Uh, speed one it goes to zero to uh, 1300 RPM. Speed two, zero to 2000. And speed three, zero to 2800. And this is both a half inch and quarter inch anvil. Which that's very, very interesting. Now it does not say the impacts per minute. I'll put that in right now along with the torque. And so yeah, let's test this out really quick. Let's see what it can do. Alrighty, first we are gonna drive in a couple of specs. Is that held in by a magnet? No. How the how does that Alright, so no, it is not uh an adjustable collet you actually need to adjust the uh, this red ring right here you need to pull that out push that in then you're good to go all right so we're gonna try some specs first see what this can do go time let's do one more why do you why are you doing that? It's like it time. All right, let's see let's see what that does. All right, let's reverse it. Ready? Go. Not too shabby. Next one, ready, go. Alrighty, we are gonna just do one timber lock. All right, so ready, go. One benefit of having this solid into the into that anvil is you don't lose torque because of the extension. This is a direct line to that uh, thick uh, quarter inch inside the half inch. So you, you don't lose torque, which is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Okay, now let's see what the benefit is of having a half inch to a quarter inch anvil. Is there a ball bearing? There is no ball bearing because you can't have a ball bearing in there because of the quarter inch uh, uh, connection inside. So that's not that's not that great. Yeah, it, you can tell that there is no there is no connection inside making this stay on there better. It, it slides off. A ball bearing is essential when it comes to uh, sockets. All right, so let's do a four inch and a six inch and let's see what it can do. All right, so ready, go. That seemed to struggle a uh, struggle a little bit. That seemed to struggle. Uh, let's see if it's able to take it out. All right, so ready, go. Remember, this is with a 6.3 amp hour battery. Let's uh, let's try the six inch. Let's see if it's even capable capable of doing it. All right, so ready, 
Go. Stop it there. Oh, that is having a tough, tough time. 84 degrees is the highest point. Uh, let's see if we can take it out. So ready, go. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's the that's that it smells. Yeah, that's the that's the limit. Now the temperature for this 198 degrees. Uh the socket got. 198 degrees. So that is taking on a ton of energy with uh very little progress. So that just tells me that uh the four maybe five inch lags is what this is capable of doing and so the battery on this is still four bars you know the, the power just the you know it's a great impact but the power just isn't there and like i said this is an impact driver i went to lowe's website this is an impact driver just because it has a quarter a uh, half inch anvil on there doesn't make this an impact uh wrench so like I said, it's an impact driver with a quarter inch uh, hex uh, inside, which is a, a unique feature. More companies should do that, but but yeah. The results that I got today, I was expecting to get those with like a 4 amp hour battery or 2 or 3 amp hour battery, but we're using 6.3 amp hour batteries. I was hoping because of that, we would get a major power boost when it comes to doing some of these... Uh, some of these tasks i was hoping that the hammer drill would be able to do the one and a half inch self-driving spade bit on speed two easily i was hoping for that because then i could do versus videos against the other brands but that's all right but that's all right so that's pretty much it i just wanted to do the demo on these really quick now the the uh impact driver does have uh a bit holder on the back and the hammer drill does not. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, I'll see you guys next time.